Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5. I got two karambits here, two folding wave karambits from two different companies. Um, uh, I'm going to try to keep the Emerson over here, but you might not be familiar with this one. I had some teasers asking people if they recognized it, and of course no one did, and I'm bad at keeping secrets, so here we go. This is, first off, to show you a big difference, D2. It's marked D2. And it is marked Malisong. Mousalong. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. And you can see that it is very serrated, very aggressively serrated. Um, it's uh, one of the reasons that I was drawn to it. But um, uh, there were some big differences between the two knives. Uh, other than the serrations, uh, first off, this is the American made, and that's one uh, difference. This is the American made Emerson Combat Karambit. I love it. It's one of my favorite karambits. Probably is my favorite karambit. I have the Provoke. Haven't showed the Provoke on uh, my channel yet, and I don't really care for it. But I still love the Emerson Combat Karambit. It's one of my favorites. I've owned two of them. I've, ho I've owned the original version. And this is the upgraded reinforced tip version that I now own. And um, this one, um, well, um, first off, you can look at the clip. The uh, clip is a little bit different. Uh, the clip, it, the the uh, the um, screws are different, but they're in the same position basically. But you can see that it kind of curves out as opposed to the Emerson, which is more or less straight. And uh, you got some kind of Torx or Hex uh, hardware on here, or this one has uh, Phillips. They both have uh, slotted or flathead um, pivots. And um, this one's a backed down 154CM. This one claims to be T D2. Is it D2? I'm really not sure. Uh, it doesn't really come with paperwork. Uh, I'm not really sure where it's made. But it does come with some cool goodies nondescript box uh, a good little box to keep and uh, use as a gift box for another product um, you know that you're giving away you know like if I was gonna give someone uh, jewelry or something and it didn't come with a pretty box this would be a good box to put it in but it comes with um, a, a screwdriver uh, it seems to be that hex kind of small screwdriver thing that comes with another pocket clip. Um, both of these knives are ambidextrous. They're both liner locks that, um, uh, that uh, favor right-handed use. But you can switch this pocket clip uh, left-handed, right-handed. You can switch it where you can draw it in a, a reverse grip. Or you could um, um, uh, ch change the pocket clip where you draw it in forward grip. And I'm going to show you that again, what I just did. You might not have caught it, but um, I have this. Here is my pinky. Flicks right open really uh, well. Uh, it fires um, just about any way you want to uh, open it. And I'm going to um, zoom out a little bit. Check this out with the Emerson. Um... And I'm not budging this for the camera. It is really difficult to, um, you can use some wrist action and fire it, but you're definitely not going to put your pinky in here and um, fire it out. And um, so uh, I want, this is the main thing I want to discuss about this knife. Well, one of two things I really want to discuss about this knife. By the way, they're both drilled and tapped for left-handed, right-handed carry. But um, uh, this one, you know, uh, flicks out with the pinky, uh, and, um, you know, if you're just drawing this out and you don't wave it, it flicks out with your thumb super easily, you can, uh, use your pointer finger, it fires, and it's not automatic, but, uh, when you, um, uh, uh, use the, uh, the opening hole, or the, uh, stud, uh, or not stud, but wave feature, it opens up super easily, and, um, it's really quite fidgety and fun. 
as with the Emerson Made in America, it doesn't really do that. And I haven't messed with the pivots on either one of these. You can use your wrist, but uh, in general, oh, there, I got it with the uh, wave. In general, uh, it doesn't really uh, fire out like the cheap Amazon Chinese special. I'm assuming it's from China. Not saying anything bad about that, but that's something that I really noticed. You might think, well, that sucks. The Emerson is a much, way much more expensive knife, by the way, $25 on Amazon. And this is um, about $250 or something. Uh, why is the Emerson having so much trouble to flick out without wrist action uh, compared to the cheap one? Well, um, here's something that I think you should consider. With this um, 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 mallet song, if I were to hold it like this, it's almost impossible to sling it out if it doesn't fire. So if you're um, trying to, uh, if you draw it and it doesn't catch the pocket, it's almost impossible to sling this out because of the detent. And that detent is part of the reason why it's... Um, you know, flicks out so easily. As with the Emerson, there you go, it slings out nice and easily. So for whatever reason, if you draw this and it doesn't deploy, uh, or if it doesn't deploy completely, um, well, you could probably do the same thing with this if it doesn't deploy completely, but if, it, if you draw um, these knives in reverse grip, uh, you can't use your thumbs uh, to, well, you can use your pinky on the cheap one, but you know, if you draw them in a bad situation and they don't open, the Emerson, you can sling out this one, oop, about hit my camera, good thing I have the uh, hood on it, but so there was a big difference there, so I don't want you to come away with the um, impression that the Emerson is sub-quality, uh, it's just that uh, these knives are made differently, and uh, the Emerson, although it's a lot more expensive, it doesn't flick out as easily. Uh, in a bad situation, I think you can get the Emerson out uh, much easier uh, in reverse grip than you can this. Um, also, just to continue the comparison, uh, we have a G10 backspacer as opposed to the standoffs. Um, markings are pretty different. But... Um, Pretty much everything else is the same. This is $25, this is around $250, made in America, not sure this is made. We know this is a back down 154CN and it will, will um, uh, it's a tough knife. We don't know exactly how tough this knife is, but something I do want to talk about is these serrations that come with it. My brother did not put these serrations on. Um, a lot of times with the karambits, when you cut, it kind of bunches like if you're cutting rope, it kind of bunches right here, and then it's kind of a pressure cut um, when you're doing utility cuts. And uh, also when you're cutting something that uh, conforms to that, it's more or less that uh, you can slice, and you, but pressure cuts are not as easy. Um, this, as soon as you put this on the wrist or anywhere, you feel those points digging in. And so I feel with less effort, this one's going to cut a little bit better uh, because of the serrations. Um, now, I could probably get my brother to put serrations on this one, but I'm not. Uh, but, um, you know, and by the way, um, where is um, paper? Uh, it comes from the factory, uh, right, razor sharp. So, um, it's a um, cool knife for $25. Uh, I have no problem owning and carrying it because it's not a counterfeit, it's a uh, copy. But um, you also find if you search this company on Amazon, they counterfeit some Bastinelli knives and other knives. I think there was a Stridal knife that they counterfeit, a Stridal Karambit. So uh, I think you can go a little bit crazy with the copying, or yeah, they're not counterfeit Bastinelli's or counterfeit uh, Stridals, but they're copies. Uh, make sure I uh, uh, say that right. I think you can go a little bit crazy with your copies. If you're only doing copies, I don't think you're really contributing much to the um, community. But, um, you know, they, they definitely have some uh, Bastinelli, Emerson, and I think Strider um, copies. 
and they, and they might have some other ones. But I wanted to point this out, that this is on the market, and it's really cheap. So if you like the Emerson style, but you can't afford an Emerson, this is a good way to go. Um, I am still would re much rather uh, bet my life on the Emerson than this one. This one, D2, is a pretty hard steal. Now, I don't know if they back down the heat treat, and I don't know if they, um, you know, what its rock hardness is. But uh, I know that the Emerson is not going to break. Um, it has a reinforced tip. This one has the pointy tip. They're both pointy, but extra pointy. So, um, like I said, I feel comfortable with this. But let's just say I'm going to do a gladiatorial fight or a duel between these two. I'd rather have the Emerson. Uh, so, um, and you know, because this is cheap, um, and it's D2, supposedly, um, this might be a good coastal knife. I might carry it to the coast and see how bad it uh, rusts. D2 is, uh, uh, is a tool steel, but it's almost on the verge of being uh, stainless, but it's not quite. Um, so it will rust, but it's supposed to be more stain resistant than other tool steels and uh, high carbon steels. But um, definitely interesting knife. I'll have a review on it. Don't know if I'll do a Battle Blades. Uh, but um, definitely a cool knife. So that's the video. I'm a Satsu 5. Oh, wait, let's do this one more time. And I'm out.